Hey guys, welcome back to Fixing It, and today we're going to change the front axle on this 2005 Toyota Camry. All right, guys, we got the wheel off, and we're going to start by removing this 10 millimeter. Now, this thing gives us more slack over here because this is going to come out a little bit, okay? Next, we're going to disconnect the tie rod, just take off the cotter pin and this castle nut. Next, it looks like this uh, sway bar link is in the way of getting this thing out. Um, I'm not sure if you have to take it off, but I'm going to take it off anyway. This is aftermarket, and it's an 18 uh, millimeter nut, and you can hold it back with an 18 millimeter wrench. If you have a stock one, it's probably going to be different, probably 17. Next, we need to disconnect the ball joint. It's held on by uh, two 17 millimeter nuts over here and one on top. And this is a uh, 19 millimeter. So this whole thing comes out. These two stay in place. Now you can separate this. Next, we got to take off this cotter pin and the axle nut. This is a 30 millimeter. Next, you want to bang this in. Now you can slide this out. Next, we're under the car and we need to take these guys, squeeze them together and take them out of the the groove that is in. You could use some pliers and kind of doing it by hand here. It's not even that hard. But anyway, you squeeze them together, get it out of the groove, and then you take out this uh, 14 millimeter nut. All right, this uh, snap ring is loose. And now we're gonna take off this uh, 14 millimeter. Now we're able to bang this as a bearing here you're gonna bang it out slide this whole thing out all right guys i'm gonna try to use something to hit from behind here and punch it out and then it's gonna come out of the uh where is it the transmission here get a pan or something because it might drip some uh, transmission fluid when it comes out of here okay okay now the bearing is loose from the bracket and it's ready to come out Okay, this is the new axle. Match it up to the other one, make sure it's the same size. Comes with a new nut. And this is the part number. I got a little ripped up there, but it's 665265HD. Okay, wipe clean where the bearing is gonna go. You can see where that snap ring goes in, in this groove. So all we gotta do is put it in, make sure it's seated right with the snap ring and put the 14 millimeter bolt. Okay, we got the bearing seated nicely. We put the snap ring on there and we put the 14 millimeter bolt. All right, now we can slide this into the spin wheel here. Okay, put the nut to hold it in place.
All right, we're gonna use a 12 point 30 millimeter. Okay, I just banged the nut into the groove so it won't come out. Next, we gotta put in the 10 millimeter over here. All right, guys, I hope this video helped you out. Like and subscribe. Talk to you guys later. Take care.